Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the bitter reality of why when, you, when people grow up, when they start families, uh, I'm getting email after email, uh, people who want to have babies. I think it's because I talk about it and something that most magic YouTubers don't talk about. Um, you need a lot of space for a baby. You need to build a bed and a changing station. You need to safety proof a room. You need more clothing for the baby. So instead of you just having clothing for yourself, um, you can't hold on to these heavy bags. These heavy bags are just such a detriment to actual living. Um, you might notice that I'm in a race to open as many packs as I can because I need the space. Um, it's no longer about having a lot of fun. It is about... Um, getting space you know to make a baby room to make a office room to just do basic things I, i'm not kidding here i think a lot of people probably think that i'm making a joke out of this but i assure you it is no joke and i am uh, dead serious about this that yes indeed i am making rooms and so on you know when my significant other moved in we had i had to move a lot of my cards and I have a really big home. It's uh, 4,080 square feet, not including the free car garage, which I now realize is probably designed for free trucks, or at least two trucks, given that I have a lot of wall space. I kind of didn't understand why my garage was so big, but in Texas, everyone has a truck, and that would then therefore explain why one of my garage spaces is like absolutely massive, because it's meant to fit like a giant truck. I always uh, didn't understand uh, why I had like extra space in that particular parking space, but it's for the uh, it's for the truck that I was supposed to have. So we only have one car, so you you, you put in that space. Space is uh, very limited. I mean, it is just astoundingly limited right now, and I am you know it is uh, it's it's <laughs> a little rough, guys. It's a uh, uh, just a touch you know a tiny bit rough. And uh, to be quite honest and frank with you, um, yeah, I mean, I, I have, there's no way to sell cards and there's no way to sell boxes. These things are really, really uh, heavy bags. And there's no one who's going to buy 50 of them for you at one time or 100 of them. Even Card Kingdom, they'll buy two of them, five of them, maybe six of them. But that's it. I mean, there's not a person out there that is looking to buy like hundreds of boxes of older stuff because simply set, stated, it's not going to sell. Uh, the reason it's not going to sell should be relatively obvious to anyone who knows is the space. When you grow up, you have kids, you have a kid, um, uh, your significant other moves in with you. There's a lot of space that you as a single male are used to like filling up yourself and now you need to open the space. But like, it's really, really hard to sell Magic the Gathering booster boxes. I've been trying to tell uh, in the last few moments, you know, last week I got 14 different people trying to sell me their box collections and it's like 20 boxes of this, 20 boxes of that, 30 boxes of that, 40 boxes of that. Um, it's just not viable. Like it's not viable to buy that many boxes as an individual. Now, when I had a store, yeah, I had a distributor and they kind of, you know, I mean, luckily for me, it's half evolving skies. The other set is like fusion strike. You know, it's a, a bizarre thing to look at, but you know, I, I'm actually not trying to, I, I had, uh, basically wanted to order more wise cases cause I was having fun opening it. And then I realized there's just no space. Like, no joke, there is no space, even for, like, one more Weiss case, there's nowhere to put any of this stuff. Like, my garage is stacked to the ceiling. Like, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know how, like, the Alpha Investments or how the other people do this type of stuff because, to me, um, the main concern isn't, like, oh, I need more cards or I need to stack them really high. It's that these heavy bags are literally heavy. When you move them from one closet to another closet and then suddenly there's, you know, it's a lot of actual work. These things are literally heavy. Like, I'm not joking. I'm not making a joke here. Um, these things are legitimately quite, quite indeed, quite heavy. And I, I just don't get how people are really 
able to uh, continue to buy these boxes without, you know, with no exit strategy for more than 20, 25, 35, 40 boxes, like who exactly is in the marketplace to buy so many boxes? Um, I mean, it's just not even there. Like you see in Meta Zoo, they're selling cases for pennies on the dollar and no one wants them. I think a lot of this might be space. Once you're done opening a lot of it and, and you have a little bit of fun playing the game, like how the F are you supposed to um, move the stuff? Like maybe you throw in the trash or something, but I don't know. I mean, that, that seems a little bit extreme to me, but like in Meta Zoo, you're seeing these cases fly off these shelves for almost no money and people are still not buying it. And I think it has a lot to do with spaces. Uh, I think space is very, very tough to come by. And and people ask, why don't I collect One Piece? I love One Piece. You know, I watched One Piece when I was a kid and I think it, uh, it was great. I really, really enjoyed One Piece. That being said, and to be 100% frank with you, like... I just don't have the space. Otherwise, I would collect it. You'd be like, oh, I'll buy singles. Yeah. Good idea, right? But at the end of the day, like, okay, I bought some singles. Where am I going to put it all? Like, I, I don't, my bookshelves, everything is like maxed to the top. You know, it, it's hard to imagine buying any more of this stuff. Um, even, it's hard to imagine even buying some spy family or something like even some fun sets that the sniffing and other would actually enjoy opening because there's no room like once you're done opening where do you, where the hell do you put this stuff you know even anime figures i had a friend and she had a beautiful anime figure collection for ten thousand dollars i just kind of buy it you know as a once you you know get into a relationship once you have a kid you realize how valuable space actually is and how you know, it's very difficult. It is extremely difficult to make space in your home because your home is a, it's not, it's infinite, right? When you're sing a single male, you can buy whatever and then fit it in, stuff it in. It doesn't matter. But when you are, you know, looking and you're making a room for a baby, I had to set up the uh, baby crib and chain station. Um, and that thing looks gigantic, right? Uh, no idea. <laughs> no idea how people do it. I have no idea. Um, you know, I, I just have too much shit. I'm trying to open it all so I can at least move the two bookshelves of the Pokemon stuff or the magic. I'm trying to open all my magic product right now in a desperate attempt to make space. And I don't really care if I lose money or make money in a product. You know, it'd be just fun to put just throw on YouTube, you know, make an extra video, so on. Um, but I'm, I got to move the product because it is too much shit. And then I got to put the bulk in a stack it to the ceiling, right? Um, that's uh, what's happening right now. And it's uh, a very brutal process, if you will. Anyway, let me know what you guys think or you guys are in the same headspace as me. Bye, guys.